Hello people! Okay, um, I haven't put up a video for a really long time because, well, actually, um, well, it was because I didn't have an iPod charger and I've been filming on my iPod and, um, I needed the charger to connect it to my laptop so I can actually, uh, edit and upload, although I don't really know if I'll be editing this one because editing makes it more difficult because I need to compress the file and if I compress it after editing for some reason it just I lose video which is really annoying I don't really know how to fix it it Cody fixed it one time but I, I just I don't last time it just wasn't working so then I had to upload it without it uh, yeah without editing it because it just it kept crashing every time I tried to edit it and um it was, I guess I just got the message, I'm not supposed to be editing this one. But there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to comment on in that one. There was, like, a lot of stuff that I thought, oh, I need to say something about that. Like, all the background noise and, um, just so many big gaps and stuff. Big pauses, I should say. <laughs> Whatever. But, um, yes. So this is the first one that I've made this year. Wow. Okay. So it's now the 6th of January, 2015. Whoa, alright. Um, I'm trying to talk fast so then there there isn't lots of big gaps. So then I don't really have to edit it. Uh, anyway, so there's um, there are a few topics that I've been wanting to cover for like a month. Like I've been wanting to make a video about it but I just haven't been able to and I got I got the iPod charger for Christmas from Cody because he's awesome, but, um, so much has been going on and stuff. Anyway, um, so, there's only one thing that I can remember from a month ago that I wanted to talk about, so I guess I'll talk about that now. I really, really wanted to talk about it, and now I'm just like, yeah, alright, well, I'll talk about it because I wanted to talk about it so much before. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> this thing I wanted to talk about, right, it's about, it's about clothes, <laughs> right, it might sound a bit silly, but, um, well, I wanted to talk about it before this thing happened that I'm about to tell you about, but then this thing happened, and then I was like, no, I really need to mention that in the video, so, um, I was having dinner with Cody and his parents and uh, his auntie and uncle, I think. And um, they were talking about they were talking about how people are like how they should never leave the house without a shirt on. Like they were talking about how. Uh, the guy, uh, his uncle, will just sometimes go to the shops without a shirt or sometimes just run in in his boxes or whatever. And uh, they were talking about how wrong that is and he was just like, well, whatever. But then they were just like, you have to cover yourself up when you go out in public. It's just not right to blah, 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 blah. And for a week before that, I'd been talking to myself about how um, the change in society these days, you know how everyone's like, oh my god, in a few years people are going to just be wearing less and less and it's going to be awful. Just like, where did people's self-respect go or whatever. And I'm just like, uh, hello, we were born without clothing. Like, if back in the day we didn't wear clothing, if we only used it as protection and then didn't use it when we didn't need to be protected from the weather or whatever, then this whole fashion thing wouldn't have come about and we wouldn't have been expected to wear clothes all the time. People would be more comfortable with seeing each other naked or seeing each other the way they naturally are and people would be less freaked out about the natural human body like everybody has 
a naked body underneath their clothes. Their clothes aren't actually supposed to be there. It's not like we were born to wear clothes. We were born to be naked and if we need extra protection sometimes then okay we can put something on to help. But other than that, like it's really not a big deal to not wear clothes. If I had it my way I would I would not ever wear clothes. I mean <laughs> it's just not it's not necessary, especially for people that don't really leave the house. They still like dress up and stuff and there's no need to do that because they they don't need to. The only reason that you should wear clothes is to is to help you express yourself, to show more of who you are. I think maybe that's how fashion started out, like someone wanted to express themselves one time. But then people start copying them. People are like, oh, well, that's what you need to wear, so I need to wear that now. Even if I'm not entirely comfortable in it, that is what is happening these days, so I'm going to wear that. Like, no. Because then there's people that are wearing things that make them comfortable, and then other people are judging them. Like, ugh, that's not what's in. Just like, are you serious? If that's what you're happy with, if that reflects who you are on the inside, then I think that's perfectly fine. If you're wearing something that makes you feel yourself and comfortable and happy, then that is what you should be wearing. And you shouldn't care what other people are wearing. You shouldn't care what other people think of what you're wearing. It just really bothers me. But it mostly bothers me when people say, Oh my god, put a shirt on. It's disgusting. It's just like, are you serious? I think it's more disgusting and more unusual for you to be wearing this piece of cloth on you and not accepting the way you are naturally. I don't know if that's how I was going to end that sentence because I kind of forgot what was happening there. But yeah, that's basically the point I'm trying to make if you got the point. I'm sorry, I keep looking at my hair because it's quite long and it's, I'm just not really used to it being this long. It's kind of pretty. Anyway, um, blah. so yeah, I've been wanting to talk about that, about the clothing thing, about, I mean, come on, I knew I was different to Cody's family, but I didn't realise I was so different in the fact that I'd just been thinking about how people don't need to be wearing as many clothes and they're just like, everyone needs to put their clothes back on. <laughs> And I think it's a good thing if people start wearing less and less clothing. I mean, the shorter the shorts, the more comfortable they are with their body. They're just covering that main area. And really, that is all that really needs to be covered. I mean, there's some talk about how bras don't actually help your boobs to stay perky or whatever. And, um and how they're kind of unnecessary and I don't know how true that is I guess I'll really have to look into that if I really want an honest opinion on that topic but I mean if it is true and you don't need bras for support then what's the point of them and if they do help then awesome you can wear a bra but why cover the rest of yourself up that's a bit silly isn't it I think it is I mean, these days, like right now, it's summer in Australia, and it is really hot, like 40 degrees Celsius hot, and I'm just like, yeah. I guess clothes, it's tricky, it's like you want protection from the sun, so you wear clothes, but you don't want to wear too many clothes, because then you'll be hotter, it's like, just lather yourself in sunscreen and hope for the best. I've been wearing more dresses lately. And that comes to another topic that I wanted to talk about. I mean, I don't know if I wanted to talk about this before, but I definitely want to talk about this now. Because, um, if you're friends with me on Facebook, then you would have seen me post a status about this. I think I posted it, like, yesterday, but the thing happened last week. And, um, well, there was this, well, okay. I went shopping with my friend Joe and Cody. You see, the thing with Joe is that 
um, Joe was born male and grew up people thinking that she was male, but more recently Joe has realised that she's actually female, that she doesn't want to be seen as male, she wants to be seen as female. So um, that day we took uh, money we got for Christmas and we went shopping to go get bras and undies and girly stuff. We ended up getting makeup and hair extensions and undies that were pretty. I mean, I, I didn't, I just bought a dress. But Joe ended up getting lots of pretty stuff. And um, while we were just walking from a boys section to a girls section, um, there was a little boy and he was crying. He was crying so much. And it was kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> and then his mum just grabs him and says, I know you want to dress. And then just, just pulls him away from the girls section. And I'm just, and like, he just, he started crying even harder after that. And <laughs> I wasn't very happy with that. I mean, obviously it's none of my business, but I mean, she looked like she felt sorry for him. I don't know if it's because, uh, I think there was a, a man with them, but kind of separate from them. Maybe that was his dad. Maybe his dad's really not happy with that kind of stuff, but but his mum is okay with it, but is kind of like just following whatever dad says because he's the boss or something like that. But so she felt she felt sorry for him. Or at least that's that's the vibe I got, and. His dad just kind of ignored it. Looked like he was actively ignoring it. And then um, I was just like, no. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything to them, obviously. Not my business. But I turned around to Joe and said, I can't, I can't believe that they're doing this. this this little boy, if he really wants to dress that badly that he's crying, why not let him get a dress? Why not? My nephew, um, he's, he's, I already said this in, like, a past video, but he's, oh my god, in a few days he'll be seven, anyway. But when he was four, he was living with us, and he was always talking about how he wanted a blue dress with flowers on it. And, um, I don't know if we ended up finding one that's exactly what he liked, but, um, he, he did end up, he, sorry, he did end up getting a dress, um, a blue dress, but it was, it was a dress up one, so he got fairy wings and a wand with it, um, because we went to a dress up thingy at Amy's house and it was, it was good, it was good, he enjoyed it, he loved wearing his dress, um, but when he was talking about wanting a dress, I was so happy, just like, yay, he's not one of those people that are like, boys stuff is separate from girl stuff, and boys can only have boys stuff, and girls can only have girl stuff, whatever. I think it was really great that he really wanted a dress, and my sister is obviously um, really, really open to that kind of stuff. She's just like, the only, the only time she would have said, I know you want to dress and pulled him away from the area as if she knew that there weren't any that he would like. That none of them were blue with flowers and that is exactly what he wanted. And she's just like, no, that, there's no point in looking here. We'll find a different shop that has what you want. Because that's what kind of person my sister is. Um, so when this boy was sad, I was just thinking of my nephew and just like... If he was told he wasn't allowed to dress, he probably would have just accepted it and been like, oh, alright, whatever. But he was happy when he got his dress. And the fact that I was shopping with Joe at the time, um, well, obviously, Joe knew how that boy felt. And I said, what if that boy grows up and realizes that he's not a boy? That he's like Joe, and he's, he's actually been a girl this whole time, and he's just been told that he's not allowed to be a girl. And that is not fair. But um, I'm not saying that every boy that wants to wear a dress is actually 
inside a girl because that's not necessarily the case but I mean either way it's wrong to stop him from wearing a dress but if he's actually female inside that body he must be so tormented right now he just can't be who he feels he should be or she <laughs> and it's just not cool it makes me kind of a little bit sad inside but well, that's okay because I can't let negative things get to me or influence me because I am a positive being and I want to be positive but I still wanted to talk about that so that is that off my chest and I should probably end this video here because I don't want to take up too much of your space when you watch it so thank you for watching and I'll try and upload more videos and not all of them will be kind of pointless but yeah stuff and things and exciting things are happening so more videos later yes Good times. Bye-bye.